the way, uh, President Obama told young Africans, this video is now breaking via CNS News, that you shouldn't be able to have air conditioning, big houses, and cars. No, you've just got to have Air Force One and have over 3,000 aircraft for military brass and Congress to fly around on, and Air Force Two that cost hundreds of millions a year to run. And one night per hotel for Obama and his entourage is a million dollars conservatively. Uh, on average, they get three, four, five, six, and even $10,000 a night hotel rooms. I guarantee you, if I was the president, I wouldn't be doing things like this. But again, Michelle Obama is out in the news saying that she feels like she lives in a really nice prison. Well, yeah, because they spent $2 billion putting this puppet in there. He's owned by the globalist. And so he's an important teleprompter reader. So, of course, they're going to put you in a gilded cage. But it's more than that. It's about having all the pomp and circumstance and red carpets so that people actually believe the buck stops with El Presidente. But just as Maurice Strong swore, the head of the United Nations UNESCO program at the time, in Rio de Janeiro 20 years ago, that they would create a post-industrial world, a Hunger Games world, where the elite live in fabulous high-tech splendor with life extension technologies, and you live at starvation level, and when you go above a certain calorie level, you're sent off to be killed. That's what they're proposing. That's Logan's run. That's eugenics. They're now calling for calorie taxes across the board here in the U.S. after beta testing. And you've got to have a smart card that tracks everywhere you go with the new VAT slash sales tax system. This is the plan. $100 trillion a year in carbon calorie taxes, taxing everything from your food to water to transportation, paid to private banks. Watch the Obama deception, part one, five years old. And everything I said, Obama did. I said, he'll, it came out right when he was elected. I said, he'll break all his promises and he'll do A through Z and exactly what I told you he did. Because I've got their playbook. It's like I'm the New England Patriots and I stole the playbook of the Steelers. Man, I know what they're gonna do. <laughs> this is not my opinion. Obama's Africa trip will cost $100 million. $100 million. And again, the global mega banks, the global mega rich, they have given over 100,000 different people, last time I checked, total diplomatic immunity. Their friends, their families, you name it, just from the UN. Now they're getting diplomatic immunity for big banks that are part of the carbon trading scandal. Above the law, they pay none of this. They do none of this. They can do whatever they want. It's taxes on you to them to say that our exhaling, our carbon dioxide's hurting the earth. Let's go to a clip of Obama telling people that live some of the poorest in the world, some of the most wealthy in Africa and in South Africa, but still in the top uh, you know, percent of poorest people, or you say the lowest percent, telling them it's bad for you to have anything nice because you're going to burn the earth up when carbon dioxide has nothing to do with that. And it's been a proven hoax and a fraud. Is Obama worried about genetic engineering, open air? Is he worried about all the toxic waste dumping? Is he worried? You ever hear about any of the real threats? Thousands of different crops with live pharmacological uh, viruses and things being created. They have crops that grow the vaccines, that grow the medicines, that grow the AIDS virus. Look it up. Look up corn crops that grow AIDS vaccine, and then it's an AIDS virus in it. It's twilight zone. But none of that's a threat, crossing humans with animals to then grow organs and animals for humans. All of this happening, brain transplants, all of it, with mutagenic properties, and we, ladies and gentlemen, are not supposed to talk about it. Now, there it is. Mutated GM maize on the loose. Maybe carrying AIDS virus. There you go. Aaron Dykes wrote about that last year. Let's go to this clip of Obama, the, the, the guy exempt from everything, above the law, telling you that you shouldn't be able to have a car. Here it is. The youth that everybody's mentioned here in Africa, if everybody's raising living standards to the point where everybody's got a car, and everybody's got air conditioning, and everybody's got a big house, uh, well, the planet will boil over unless we find new ways of producing energy. And, and, and what that means is they are transferring it 
Now, now then he says, oh, new energy sounds great. Then you just give it to insider buddies who never even get a, an office space, never build any of it, while they block all the real new energy systems that have been developed. They're just cutting off the resources as a total act of domination and selling the idea that progress is bad and that we've got to have austerity. Unbelievable. Control of energy is control of everything. The power to tax is the power to destroy. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now we'll remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because today we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. Yeah, the only people that don't pay to play are the globalist, ladies and gentlemen. They're the ones who ride for free off of all of us. And they publicly, in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, put out the Club of Rome documents, Council on Foreign Relations documents. I covered all of my film, What is the Endgame.com, is the bibliography of that film, now seven years old, where I show how they were going to establish a post-industrial world on calories and energy consumption and that they would produce the fear stimulus to create a guilt complex and they said do we say it's an ice age or do we say it's because it's too hot or that we're going to lose our atmosphere and they looked at all of these and they decided and you can go to the, any library and pull up the club of rome quarterlies 1962 you name it I, I have screenshots of this and they settled on Whatever the warming trend or cooling trend is, we'll go with that. If a hurricane hits, if a tornado hits, if it's getting colder, if it's getting hotter, we'll say it was because of mankind. Be because the witch doctors in every culture, I don't care if it was Mesoamerica, Africa, Asia, the Druids in Europe, I don't care if it was the Vikings in Northern Europe all the way into Russia. Russia is really Viking in the West. The Rus, the red, the red hair. If you sit there and look at all of this, they would tell them, the high priest, we didn't have good crops because you, Hrothgar, did not give great enough uh, offerings to Thor or to Odin. And now you must be burned. And they would say, yes, I agree. It's my fault. And they could kill whoever they wanted. Every culture. Well, we didn't have good uh, crops at our chalupas. Chalupa is a swamp floating platform. That's where you get the term chalupa. Uh, we're going to need double the children to be sacrificed. <laughs> Woo! Works good every single time. And they even talk about this in the expanded uh, subsections that we have screenshots of, of Road to Tyranny, of the 1996 Biological Diversity Assessment of the United Nations. They say we're, we need to bring back human sacrifice and war ritually like the Aztecs had to reduce population. And it's all a tool of control. It's the Hunger Games. I described to you a future like Hunger Games before those books even came out. Because all those books are describing is the type of world they want to make with big floating UN fortresses with international troops that can do whatever they want. And I'm going to cover that at the start of the next hour. Raymond Teague, for some reason, is late. Uh, and as soon as he gets here, we'll bring him in here, our uh, former Air Force Intelligence slash NASA uh, individual, good friend of mine for about 15 years. Raymond's actually worked for me for a couple of years when he was in between jobs as an engineer. A uh, really smart guy. 71 years old. We, we like Raymond. He's certainly an interesting fellow. So as soon as he pulls up, get him in here. 
because if he pulls up and he gets stopped in the other part of the building, they'll all talk to him and it'll be the end of the show. Uh, now, again, I want to play this clip if you just joined us one more time. Remember four years ago, the Copenhagen World Treaty, World Government Treaty, they were saying the UN's going to vote on it without anyone being allowed to read it. But, de but uh, in Denmark, the Danish text got leaked of it just in Danish, but the full text, and then they had to release the English text, and it said right at double, right at 195%, more taxes on Africa, Latin America, Asia, Eastern Europe, all the poor areas of what the West. Now, they sold it. Hey, we're going to get the rich, evil Western countries. And there were massive carbon taxes on the West, but right at double, not 200%. But, but, you but 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 right at double, 195 percent of the taxes. If we're paying 100 percent. They'd be paying 195 percent of what we were paying. And Lord Moncton broke down the numbers. He's the guy that got the document and got absolutely no credit for it. That's my point. You know, we broke that they're sharing all the NSA data with Europe and they're spying on us and we're spying on them. And the governments let each other do that to create plausible deniability. And now that's big news today. Like, we break major news here every day, ladies and gentlemen. But the enemy media is not going to give us credit so people realize the prestige. And I don't need the prestige for myself. You need to know the prestige of the liberty movement. You need to know that we're winning and we're the real media. And maybe we should give, give our, have events and give each other awards and stuff because I guess that means something. It's like Napoleon said, men will give their lives away for little pieces of metal and ribbon. And, and we're the opposite of that surface-oriented propaganda world. But at the same time, I don't think we all realize the effect we're having. That it came out, and we push it on this show, and we got demonized in some of the press for actually helping push it out over the edge. Remember I popped champagne on the air when that document came out? And then the documents came out of them meeting in secret at the UN about how to lie to the public? That was a Death Star blowing up level event. I mean, that really crippled the enemy. That was a devastating victory. I mean, I literally almost rolled around on the ground in pleasure. It'd be like the Rothschilds, you know, being you know, caught in some huge crime and actually going to jail. Uh, it, it'd be like the Rockefellers. Uh, it'd be like uh, the police locally doing the right thing and busting a CIA white slavery kidnapping aircraft on the tarmac and, you know, uh, it all coming out on the news. I mean, it's Death Star level blowing up event. Okay? I mean, you want to run around for two weeks and have a celebration, that was it. Things like that are gigantor victories. It's a gigantor victory that we forced two billion bullets out in the open and armored vehicles. And the fact that the government is predatory, arming against us in all their manuals. So people realize, wait, we have a predatory government. Why is it setting up Homeland Security for us while running Al-Qaeda? The fact that that's all out in the news is a giant devastating victory. The fact that Russian troops have already been deployed here for decades is a huge victory that we're now exposing that. The fact that the things that, that they tried to suppress for decades have now been rammed out in the open is a devastating victory against tyranny. And so now you go to Whole Foods, you go anywhere where people have the right idea to eat organic, to try to be healthy, but then they piggyback the tyranny on top, every other magazine, austerity, how great it is to be poor, how bad, you know, uh, carbon is, blah, 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 ignoring all the real crises and setting the globalist. Goldman Sachs is the number one funder of carbon taxes worldwide, the number one funder of all these fake green initiatives. Go look it up because they're the ones that run the carbon trading systems for all the major exchanges from the Chicago Mercantile. Look at who funds the Bilderberg Committee that's now being exposed in, in the British Parliament as being, it appears, illegal in the lobbying laws. The two funders, the only two donors to the Bilderberg charity are Goldman Sachs and British Petroleum. Goldman Sachs, British Petroleum. The Queen of England is the majority owner of British Petroleum. Look it up. And then Goldman Sachs is a Rockefeller, Rothschild arm. Go look at who founded every UN organization, more than 50 of them, it's David Rockefeller. He's been given awards there where they brag about it. His family, who gave him the land. This is a corporate robber baron, global corporate government, get out of jail, free card system, where they 
get to be above the law. UN personnel can be caught shipping drugs in. They're let go. They can be caught with slaves all the time in their apartment. Sex slaves, they get let go. Because they're above the law, folks. But it's not just them. It's this whole corporate anti-free market class. And now they come and say, Africa, you can't have nice cars. You can't have a nice house. You can't have air conditioning because we're going to burn the earth up. When we have the lowest level of carbon dioxide ever recorded right now. It's very low. Let's go ahead and play a clip again. This is so bombshell of Obama saying Unless we develop clean energies, which again, they don't let the real clean energies come out. They suppress those on record and have windmill farms. Austin won't fund totally clean natural gas, has shut down all its power plants it owned. So GE plants make more money. We got to buy money, uh, uh, pay money for Mexican power plants that are totally dirty right over the border. All because Goldman Sachs and others came in and, and financed the city council people. And General Electric came in, and so Austinites paid double what we paid five years ago. I heard him talking about it on the local radio this morning. Just incredible crimes being committed out in front of everybody. Do we have Raymond here? Okay. I just saw people walking around in the control room, so I thought maybe that was the case. Well, let's go ahead and play this clip right now. Here it is. The youth that everybody's mentioned here in Africa, if everybody's raising living standards to the point where everybody's got a car and everybody's got air conditioning and everybody's got a big house, uh, well, the planet will boil over. Oh, yeah. Unless we find new ways of producing energy. Translation, if you, the American people, the people of the world, don't pay mega banks $100 trillion. Will you guys put in uh, Davos calls for $100 trillion in capital and then it says it's a tax to private banks? 100 trillion in the next decade and they're they're going ahead with it all obama signed on to carbon taxes last month even though congress shot it down three years ago he just signed an order and the companies will pay it and pass it on to you i mean, I mean this is such a big deal folks this is such a big deal what about the right to not have foreign banks rip me off and and shut down community paid for Utilities that Austinites paid for over the last 70 years. They'd upgrade them. They built new plants on the sites. They shut them down. There it is. Over 100 trillion additional credit needed to support global growth from the World Economic Forum. And they call it credit. They mean taxes because the way central banking works is for a dollar or a euro or a yen or a yon or a shilling to be created. A dollar of debts created that we owe to them, man. And they can't even take over the world like that. They've got to be able to selectively shut down all their competition. And you don't hear this on the money shows, on the yuppie shows. You won't hear this on Republican shows because either they don't understand it or they're bought and paid for it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this is so easy to understand. Our viewers have demanded it, so now you're going to get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more coming in the month of June to the Infowar.